I'm going to post that. And here's the question. It says, all right, here's the question. It says, is he a narcissist, arrogant, or just seeking this? Is he a narcissist, arrogant, or just seeking this? Okay. So I want to share something with you all. Um, I got a message the other day um, on one of my comments, and I want to read it to you all because I briefly posted it and then I took it down. But I want to share a comment because it really relates to the conversation about men. And basically what I'm saying is, is a man narcissist, arrogant, or something else going on. And I, I thought this would be a great demonstration to bring up something that happened to me personally. So I want to read this to you. It was a comment that came on um, um, my YouTube channel. And I want to read it to you. And it's not a favorable comment. So the comment said this, Jonathan, this is a bullshit video. You use your son's tragic, tragic death to play a victim, then perk back up to promote your book. You're a narcissist. How's that for your supply? Ugh, angry face, angry face. There's the post, okay? Now, why I'm sharing this with you for two reasons, folks, and I'm gonna share why this relates to men in general, okay? Um, I'm sharing this because I'll be candid with you. When I first read it, it affected me, I, especially because of my son. And, and as I reflected upon it and I did post this publicly, I was actually, I was very surprised because most of the comments weren't really attack on her. It was actually a reflection of what may be going on inside of her. And a lot of people were expressing compassion, love and understanding. So I am beyond grateful for that uh, with a lot of the comments. And I actually had to step into that same space myself to actually lean into compassion, understanding for this other person. And, I but I, and, and that's not to say I didn't take it personally. Why I'm sharing this with you is I actually looked inward and said, is it possible there's some truth to this? And what I recognized is, I'll be candid with you. Those who know me know I lost my 19 year old son, Connor. There's a picture of him right there, um, three years ago. And it inspired me to write my book, What the Heck is Self Love Anyway? And it, it's, it's, it's shifted my life in so many different ways. One of the things is that publicly is that I get a ton of sympathy regarding him. I get a ton of sympathy regarding him. And I will say that sympathy is an addictive feeling. I'm gonna repeat that sympathy is an addictive feeling. In other words, when you're getting a ton of sympathy, which is really a ton of love, it can be actually very addictive. So to the extent that there was some truth to her comment about the supply, the narcissistic supply, not that it's narcissistic supply, but anybody who's lost someone or is in pain, when they get some sort of validation over that, it can be very addictive. So as I was looking inward, I was reflecting on that. Now, to the extent that she called me a narcissist, here's the bottom line, folks. I, I know in my heart of hearts, I'm not a narcissist, um, even though a lot of people say that and there might be something else going on. I'm not gonna discount that I have a bit of arrogance and a bit of bravado and a bit of righteousness. And it takes a little bit of arrogance, bravado and righteousness to come here and speak to you and look in a camera like this and do this. So I'm not gonna deny that I have a bit of arrogance, bravado and a little bit of righteousness going on. Why I know I'm not a narcissist is, I can't tell you how many times I've been there for those friends of mine that needed me. I can't tell you how many times I've apologized for my stupid knucklehead remarks over the years and the stupid things I have done. And that's a clear sign that when someone takes ownership for their mistakes is not a narcissist because a narcissist will never admit they're wrong. So what else might be going on amongst men? And I wanna show, because there is something that is going on amongst men and women alike. So this is a human thing. And that is the need for significance, the need for significance. And we are all experiencing this desire to be significant. This is why Instagram was invented and people do you know, selfies all the time because most humans are craving to be important, 
to be significant. And actually, it's one of the six basic human needs. And I want to read to you really quickly the six basic human needs um, so you can understand this. The first is certain. By the way, this is a Tony Robbins six basic human needs. You can see that certainty, variety, significance, connection and love, growth and contribution. So to the extent that I'm here communicating with you and I'm, I'm doing it in a way to encourage personal development, self-help and spiritual work for everyone, I'm here to say is yes, I am fueling my desire to be significant. But we all want that, men and women alike. So we, we've got to be careful with this narrative of, you know, calling someone a narcissist when it's simply they might have a little arrogance, they might be a little bit myopic, they might have a desire to be significant in the world. But here's the bottom line. Real narcissism are people that lack empathy. And so you have to ask yourself, was the person you're with, and, you know, like, by the way, being gaslighting, for example, gaslighting, we always say, you know, narcissist, narcissist gaslight, they mean they turn things around. Actually, most human beings, when they get confronted with something, they actually gaslight men and women alike, not narcissists. It's very common to get defensive when someone triggers you. Just for example, like she did, I immediately got defensive and I wanted to attack her. Now, it's rare that we actually say, what would love do? And by the way, if you listen to my podcast, there's a link below. My podcast is called the What Would Love Do podcast. And we, we explore life, love, and the pursuit of inner peace through the eyes of love. Um, and so the idea is, what would love do? How would love respond is my invitation for everybody. So with this person's comment, I ask myself, am I a narcissist? Am I arrogant or just seeking um, just seeking significance. And I'm here to say is everybody is seeking significance. It's a very common thing. And so with respects to her comment, I send her a lot of love. My hope is that she heals just like I'm working on my own healing. And yes, do I sometimes feed off of the sympathy over my son? Absolutely, fucking lutely folks, because there is no greater pain, or at least to me, it's no greater pain as a parent is what I'm experiencing. And every day there's a hole inside of me, <laughs> not to go with the, the pokes that are happening in my body right now, there's a hole inside of me. And yes, I talk about him frequently as a way to keep him alive. Yes, that's a form of significance. So I just want you to understand folks, that we, we can point the finger at someone being narcissist, but we have to look beyond that. And when, unless you know a person personally, don't call them that because you don't, until you've spent any time in someone else's shoes, what is the biblical quote? Uh, don't cast the, th what's the biblical co quote about? Don't cast a stone until you cast it over yourself or whatever. Someone please post, a con post it because I can't remember what it is. Anyway, Thank you for allowing me to share that with you. I think it's time to take another question. I really appreciate it.